In today's video, we're gonna break down the most valuable VHS tapes on eBay. Now, I do need to say this is a pre-owned list, so there won't be any graded VHS tapes in this top 10, and they have all gone on to sell on eBay within the last 90 days of doing this research. So, who knows, maybe you've got some of these VHS tapes lying around the house, and as you'll see in this video today, they could be worth hundreds of dollars. Coming in at number 10 is the 1981 slasher classic, Michael Myers, Halloween 2. Now, Jamie Lee Curtis, she was awesome in this one. Every single year I'm putting this series on. I think in total there were 13 movies made for the Halloween series and just last October I was watching them from the beginning yet again. An absolute classic movie series uh, that goes on to sell for some great money on eBay. Now I do need to say, uh, when it comes to VHS, the clamshells, and what I mean by clamshell is just the case, the plastic case. Uh, that the VHS tapes were in back in the day were actually worth a little bit more in present day compared to the hardcover cases that came into play a little bit later on. So this copy that is going for some good money on eBay of Halloween 2 is a clamshell case. It is black as you can see by the photos and it can go for upwards of $225 on eBay. Now coming in at number nine is an Australian ABC children's classic called The Ferals. Now, I actually remember watching The Ferals. I was five or six years of age when this used to come out on ABC Kids, and uh, they ran it for two years in the end. It was just 1994 and 1995, and that was 30 episodes worth of the show. And then from there, they actually made a spin-off show called Feral TV and uh, that aired for 55 episodes. So uh, it was pretty iconic. It certainly had a very, very iconic theme song. I remember it now and I remember the characters as well. Raddus the Rat, Medigliana the Cat. Uh, this one was really nostalgic to go back and research. Um, and I'd actually forgotten about it until I saw it pop up as an eBay sold comp. And the value for this TV show on VHS, $250. I'd actually really like to get my hands on a copy and watch this show again because it is so, so iconic. Now this next one is the first film that I have never heard of. This one coming at number eight is called Alligator. This was actually in 1980 that the movie came out. This was pre-crocodile uh, movies like Lake Placid, which I definitely remember watching. Um, but Alligator was definitely a popular one, certainly for some eBay buyers out there because it was going for some great money. Um, now Alligator, if you're unfamiliar with the movie, it's basically shot in Chicago. Uh, a girl flushes an alligator down a toilet and then it becomes a killer crocodile through the streets of Chicago, killing everything in sight. And it's up to the local town's police officer to try and end all the disaster that's going on, basically. So um, who knows if it's a good one or not. Let me know if you've seen it. Let me know if it's worth me watching. Uh, like I said, it's the first one on this list that I didn't know about. Um, but it was selling on eBay for $260. So maybe it's worth getting my hands on. The next one that we've got coming in is uh, number seven, the 1989 Fright Night 2 film. But uh, this is the sequel to the 1985 Fright Night movie. I think there were only ever two originals made in this series, but it isn't actually so much the movie that makes this one super rare and collectible. It's again, like the clamshell case, the box that it comes in. Uh, this VHS of Fright Night 2 had a promotional case which was shaped like a coffin. And that's the one that's obviously worth a significant amount of money. If you found just the Fright Night 2 standard VHS tape, um, it wouldn't be worth a crazy amount of money, but that coffin case certainly is. Now, if you're looking for it, those that are in Australia are gonna stand a better chance of finding it because it was an Australian release only. Um, so the chances are, if you were to have a copy of this, I would be putting it up for international shipping because uh, chances are some horror film collector somewhere around the world uh, is going to want to get their hands on that. So awesome uh, little little variant there, collect of, of around the $300 price point for Fright Night 2, the coffin case. Um, definitely a unique one out there. This one was a really unique one, guys. Uh, coming in at number six, we've got the Wiggles. Dorothy the Dinosaur Goes to Hospital. Now, I'd never heard of this, I'd never seen it, I've never found it out in the thrift, and there's good reason for it. This one was actually never sold commercially. It was done as a promotional video, and it was actually the Wiggles' shortest ever video release ever. It only lasts 11 minutes, and it's basically a documentation of Dorothy going to hospital to make kids at the Sydney Children's Hospital feel safe about the process of going under anaesthetic uh, and being seen by doctors. So, um, done to try and help the kids, like all the Wiggles VHS and DVDs are, uh, but this one, no commercial sales for it. It was never released, it was just a promotional video, but if you do find it on VHS, you can sell it onto eBay as a very rare Wiggles title. Not too many have got it, 
and it's worth about 350 bucks. Now, no surprises with this one because it is quite a large horror movie series. A bit like Halloween, this one's very, very similar. There's eight movies in this series and it is Child's Play that I'm referring to. Now, it started back in 1988 and there's been movies every couple of years all the way up to 2019. It's an absolute classic in the horror genre. Wasn't too surprised when I saw this one popping up on VHS, but just like all of the other case studies with these top 10s, uh, it comes down again, yet again, to that case. Now, this one that I'm seeing here for the Child's Play has been able to go on to sell for $400 uh, because of the purple variant case cover. Um, so unlike all the other Child's Plays that are going for $50 to $60, if you find a very rare edition of Child's Play 1988 original condition, um, obviously, you know, the purple variant will get you the big bucks because there's not too many of them out there. Exclusivity, it's always the way that the value goes up and that's no different here for this one, Child's Play. Super interesting story around this next one coming in at number four. We've got the 1979 horror film uh, by Abel Ferreira called The Driller Killer. What a crazy name for a film, first of all. I've never heard of the film. Don't think I want to watch the film after I saw the trailers for this one, but your classic horror film with a crazy driller killer running around trying to kill everybody in town. So, um, look, this one was actually banned, which was the most interesting thing I'd seen about this film. In, in 1984, um, Britain actually went ahead and removed it from rental. They deemed it to be obscene and unfit. And then in 1999, there was an edited version of release that came out with 54 seconds of the film removed, uh, and that made it deemed to be eligible for rental. And then there was an uncut version later brought out in 2001. Those in the US just didn't care. You got to see the entire thing from scratch right from the very beginning. Um, but those uh, in Britain took a little bit of an offense to this film. Now, the resale value that I was seeing on eBay, it was a yellow case copy uh, for us here in Australia. Uh, there were two comps uh, here in Australia were going for upwards of $400. Um, so a big, big title, old school, 1979, The Driller Killer. Let me know if you've watched it. Now coming in at number three is an absolute classic. I, I love this film, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, 1986. Matthew Broderick, a kid that tries to take a few days off school and uh, runs the greatest day off of his life uh, with the school dean ultimately trying to track him down because he's had nine days off throughout the semester. Um, it, it's brilliant. The whole movie is amazing. I think the best thing that come out of the movie is the quote, um, life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you might miss it. Uh, it's a quote that every so often I'll, I'll remember and think about because I just think it's so, so powerful. Um, but that, that whole movie, I've watched it probably 10 times now. Um, and it is an absolute classic. I'm sure you've seen it too. But um, when it comes to the resale value of this one, there's a lot of different Ferris Bueller day offs out there on DVD, on VHS, Blu-ray, whatever the case may be. But it's the original uh, Ferris Bueller day off with a cartoonistic artwork uh, of the red car, that famous red car in the film. If you can find this version of Case uh, for the VHS Ferris Bueller's Day Off, uh, it has been selling for around about that four to four hundred and fifty dollars. So some huge resale value on a very classic film, a mass-produced film, which often doesn't get the resale value. But when it comes to that case, well, that's where you're going to make your money. All right, now Star Wars. Star Wars is coming in at number two, guys. We've got The Empire Strikes Back. Uh, this one, the original version, 1984. It's the VHS that's got CBS Fox written on it. Um, that's the original. And the difference between the originals and all of the re-releases later on uh, is that there isn't any CGI in the originals. It's just that really crappy, grainy VHS footage um, that collectors absolutely want to get their hands on. They absolutely love that stuff. Now, if you had this Star Wars as a brand new sealed and you went and got it graded, it could be worth thousands and thousands of dollars. Um, but if you have just a pre-owned copy of this Star Wars Empire Strikes Back, 1984, CBS Fox, we're getting into the nitty gritty here, but if you've got that exact variant, that basic original model, uh, you're going to get yourself a $500 sale price, I dare say, on eBay. Uh, but just hold on to anything VHS that is Star Wars related and try and build up a really nice collection of Star Wars VHS um, because even selling it off as a bundle uh, is a really, really good way to go about the resale value. But um, yeah, huge collector series, obviously, for Star Wars. A lot of fans out there, you'd sell it in a heartbeat. Coming in at number one, we have another film that was actually added to that banned list in Britain back in the 1980s. It was part of that uh, list that uh, The Driller Killer was on. Um, this one had some really good resale value on eBay. Another horror film. We've had so many horror films in this top 10, so that's something to pay attention to. If you find any horror VHS, it's definitely one to add to your list. Um, but this one is the Bees Needs of VHS. At the present moment, on eBay for a single pre-owned copy, 
and it is called Toxic Zombies. So Toxic Zombies, hadn't heard of it before. I watched the trailer for this film on uh, YouTube and it is horrendous. It is some of the worst footage. It looks like it's been shot on a handy cam. Um, how it actually made it out for commercial sale is beyond me. Um, but it, it has been selling and uh, it was banned for a period of time and there's been bids on eBay for this that went on to sell for the maximum price of 625 bucks. So there you go. Crazy little list there. I think if you paid attention, you would see that there's a lot of like children's shows and a lot of horror. Both ends of the spectrum there for VHS come up with some really, really good money. So a couple of good areas to focus on. Interestingly enough though, there's more money that gets made in DVDs. And I've actually made a top 10 video right here for you guys to check out. Even more money involved than these VHS. Pretty crazy.